HTC 1 meter 8. Design When the original HTC One hit the mobile scene last year, I was stunned by its sophisticated all-metal unibody chassis. Not only was the it sturdy and comfortable to grip, but thanks to a smoothly curved back and matte finish, its polished edges elevated the handset to an unprecedented level of luxury. Frankly I'd never seen the handset look that good, and I've handled a lot of mobile phones in my day. Design-wise, this certainly sets the bar high for any subsequent smartphone, let alone an HTC One follow-up. I can't confirm though the new HTC One Meter 8 is one heck of a handsome device, the sexiest smartphone I've seen all year in fact including the Galaxy S5 and Sony Xperia Z2. While HTC's latest creation is more conservatively style than the previous one, it has a look that's just as premium. For instance the M8 Edge bezel where the screen and phone edge meet is alluringly reflective and convincingly conveys that you're holding a luxury handset. Even so the bezel is not polished to the same eye-catching sheen as the first one. I also found the back surface of my M8 review device though lovingly minted in the classy brush metal motif, smoother than the old HTC one which had a roughness almost like a ceramic bowl. Indeed this great M8 S slicker texture doesn't wick away moisture quite as effectively. The result is a slippery, more friendly canvas for grease than its predecessor's matte back. To be clear though, the 1 meter 8 comes in two additional color options silver and gold which don't sport the brush metal pattern which HTC calls airline. The fallout is that both the silver and gold versions of the M8 lack the great model slippery feel. And in other ways the M8 is just as beautiful as its predecessor. It uses a gorgeous all aluminum body which flaunts a similar curve backing. The M8 also feels superbly solid, strong, and well-constructed. I admit these are minor issues and nitpicking on my part since the M8 brings important design improvements to the HTC One franchise. Notably the phone's screen is now a larger 5 inches across 4.7 an inch in the HTC One. And unlike the first one, HTC says the 1 meter 8 S chassis is truly built entirely from metal. By contrast the company explained the original one's body was 70% aluminum, the rest being plastic. Additionally the M8 sports a pair of powerful stereo speakers which flank the display. Also branded by HTC as Boom Sound. These front-firing grills belt out a ton of sound, at least for a mobile phone. Even better, the M8 is definitely louder and produces sound with way more presence than last year's model. It's to be expected since HTC says it enhanced the M8 Edge Boom Sound audio system by cranking up the volume by 25% and improved its frequency range. Don't just take my word for it. Be sure to check out our deep dive into the HTC One Meter 8S upgraded audio prowess. Despite the phone's larger display, the device remains roughly the same size, thickness, and weight. Keeping the scales at 5.4 ounces 154.2 grams the M8 understandably stands a little taller yet is just slightly heavier than the older one 5.04 ounces 142.9 grams. It's heavier than the Galaxy S5 to 5.1 ounces 145 grams even though the M8 lacks extra hardware such as a heart rate monitor and fingerprint scanner. 